During standard operations, the SR1000 server keeps track of numerous types of processes that occur within the unit. This information is stored within log files, which can be exported from the server and emailed to GDC Tech Support to diagnose your technical issues. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to export server logs from your GDC SR1000 server using the web UI. The option to extract the log package from the server's web UI is available across all user access levels. However, when logged in as the maintenance user, you get access to certain additional options, which we will look at during the course of this tutorial. To begin, let us log into the web UI interface. Select the access level as maintenance and type in the corresponding password for the maintenance user. Click on the login button. Once the server interface has loaded completely, click on the configuration tab on the top menu bar. Next, click on the system sub menu and scroll down to the log section. The Extract Logs and Configuration option allows you to extract the log package along with the configuration backup file from the server. After selecting the time duration for which you require the log package, the Generate Logs button will be enabled. Upon clicking it, a pop-up window will be shown to display the log extraction progress. Once the log package is generated, a pop-up window will be shown to either open or save the file. Select the Save File option to download the log package to the default downloads folder of the web browser, which is being used to access the web UI. The log package file name will begin with the serial number of your server, along with the date when it was created. Please note, that the generated log package needs to be emailed to GDC Tech Support, for further analysis. In case you are unable to send the log package, due to file size restrictions on your mailbox, you may alternately use an online transfer or cloud service to do so. If you are logged in as the maintenance user, you can also extract and download some specific log files, which can be analyzed by the user. However, these options will not be available to users, with user and technician access levels. In order to generate the performance, and the SMPTE log files, you need to enter the from, and to, date time values, before clicking the respective generate button. However, to generate the automation and content manager log files, you simply need to click the respective extract button. When any of these log files are generated, a pop-up window will be shown to either open or save the file. Select the save file option to download the log file to the default downloads folder of the web browser, which is being used to access the web UI. Simply extract the compressed log files using a file archiver utility, and then view their contents, using a text editor. 
This tutorial is now complete. Thank you for watching.